Hey everyone, it's Lisa again, <laughs> and today is Wednesday, and I thought I would just go ahead and try to just challenge myself and see if I can do one of these every day. I might have to skip tomorrow, I don't know. Today I am trying to get all my teacher gifts and stuff like that together. I've got to go to the post office and do some stuff like that, and Will is having his little party at I wanted school, to share with you what I got his teacher his teacher and Brooke's teachers for teachers gifts and Brooke is in junior high or middle school she is in the seventh grade and they really don't do that much anymore but I really I always do and I really did like her teachers a lot this year so um, and they are all young and hip she does have one guy teacher and I've got to get him something today for Christmas I got him his favorite candy and his favorite pencils. He liked those black um, pencils that starts with a T. I can't remember, I'll put the name down here, but they're supposed to be the world's best pencil. And so that's what we got him. And I think I might just get him like a um, gift card to our coffee shop or something like that. But anyway, her other teachers, I went and bought MAC lip glosses. And this is something I do, I've done this for about three or four years now, and they love it. They always love it. And it's not that expensive and it's so easy and I think it's fun and so what I did is and there was one more here it is what I did is just went and picked some that I thought Brooke would like and then I let her look at each one and pick them out for her teacher so um, let's see we've got Viva Glam 6 which is for let me see okay this is for one of her teachers that is in her 20s and is very hip but her style is, um, let's see, I've seen her. She wears Ray-Ban aviators. Um, she's got blonde hair. I know she wears Toms, like the ones, the high top, like um, little booty Toms like I have. And um, she wears a lot of scarves. And, you know, so she's she's more probably J. Crew type. And so we got her the Viva Glam 6, which Brooke was worried about this being too dark, but I told her it really isn't. It's more of like a... Um, very neutral type color so we got that for her or that's the one Brooke picked for her um, okay this is Razzle Dazzler and this is the one that we had kind of left out of the others and so I believe we're going to give this to Brooke's bus driver because I felt like this was just a good neutral I had never even seen this one um, but it's kind of like a peachy I guess I would have to say just like a warm nude and let's see then the next one is pink lemonade and i knew exactly who to get this for this is actually for her math teacher who is a friend of ours um her husband works with my husband and has for years and years way before i met john and i remember going to their house to a cookout when john and i first got engaged and I um, always knew she taught middle school, and it just so happened that Brooke ended up having her this year, or for half the year. Her other teacher, who the next one is for, um, got pregnant. I got her the Pink Lemonade, which was one of my first MAC lip glosses. I believe I saw, who did I say here wore this? I think Jennifer Aniston, I heard, wore this color, which is kind of bright for Jennifer Aniston, but it's a good color. It's a good summer color. And um, this particular teacher I know likes color. And then the last one was Viva Glam 5, which this is just a, God, this is just one of my favorite lip glosses. I wish, I need to wear it more. But it is just a nude, a um, pinky brown type nude. And so we are going to give this to the teacher that um, was gone because she barely wears any makeup, Brooke said. And I thought this would be a good neutral for her. So that is what they're going to get. And what I'm going to do instead of, doing a big gift bag or anything because Brooke is at that point where, you know, she wants doesn't want any embarrassment. Hey, Bridget, what's going on, okay. babe? So, anyway, where was I? Okay, so anyway, that's the lip glosses. And that's just fun to do, you know, according to their personalities. And I think it's also fun um, for, you know, it was fun for Brooke to pick out which one. Oh, I know what I was saying. Is anyway, because they're so small, I've just bought a pack of um, thank you cards. And I'm going to just write them a thank you note, and Brooke's going to sign them and um, stick the lip gloss in there, and then Brooke will give them to them tomorrow. Because as Brooke, like even today, didn't even take her book bag because they were doing, yesterday they went on a field trip, 
and today they were doing um, awards and the Kona Ice truck was coming out. Will's teacher. <laughs> Will's teacher is very petite, very petite. I bet she is, I bet she doesn't weigh 100 pounds. And she is pretty conservative, but she does like to paint her fingernails. And I think I got her, um, I bought her some funny color, a purpley color or something for Christmas. I can't remember. It was a funky color because I know she likes that. Um, and she does wear earrings and jewelry, but it's very, um, you know, small and conservative. And she's very, very casual, like sweatshirts and stuff like that. So I saw these earrings and just thought they were just so pretty. They're the, um, let's see, Vintage America collection from Nine West. And they're little hoops, but they've got this nice little light blue bead. And I'll be honest, I've never seen her wear hoops, but <laughs> I thought these are so small and light. And she has, a, she has two children, I believe they're like 10 and 12. Um, and her little girl, I figured, if nothing else, her little girl might like these. But sometimes I like to get things like this. They're just a little bit out of their comfort zone because I think these would really look good on her. And um, so, and I know Will will enjoy giving those to her. And then I also got her this nail polish, which is the Essie. It's one of the new collection, um, Sunday Fun Day. And I thought it would be a good summer polish. So I'm just going to stick that in a little. Okay, I always keep back. a pack of these around. I mean, I didn't even have to get them yesterday. I already had them here. Um, and so what I'll do is, and I've got um, tissue paper, I'll just throw Will's in here and take it today to his little party and let him give it to his teacher. So, that is it. <laughs> okay, so I'll be right back with my oh, outfit. Oh, goodness. What was in my outfit of the day way? Say hey, everyone. He's looking for reflections. I don't know if you've ever had a cat or a dog that has been obsessed with reflections, but that's how he is. Can you just look at the camera one time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at those feet. Those feet are so cute. Okay, sit right here for a minute. Okay, so today I have on one of the stateside tanks that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago. And they're the ones that have like the raw edge right here. And I like the hem. And you could either tuck this in or leave it out. Um, because it's a little bit more form-fitting and everything, I don't know, I'm gonna leave it out. And then these are a pair of the Boyfriend Fit um, Victoria's Secret pants. And I wanted to show them today, to show them to today to show you how I wear them with a wedge. Hey babe, I've got an audience. I've got an audience, you gonna come see me? Mm -hmm. She's going to the kitchen. Okay, so you see how long these are. Well, today I just put on my zip it wedges, which will barely show. Um, you can see just the, because they're so long, just the ends of them show. <laughs> and then it gives your whole look, I don't know, just to me it makes it look your whole um, silhouette or um, in your, um, what am I trying to say, your posture better. And, um, so that's how I wear these a lot, and it just makes them a little bit more versatile, especially the black ones. I wear those with my Stuart Weitzman um, Alex wedges a lot, but these are really good because they're so comfortable. So this is the outfit of the day, just a very casual. I'm just gonna share this chair with, oh, he jumped out. I must've cramped his style. Okay, and for accessories today, I have on my Sheila Fajal bird necklace, which I love this necklace, and I'm hoping maybe one day I can get some more. Um, working on that. And um, let's see, earrings, I just have on some CZs. And then my bracelet, I put on this because I thought it went well with the gray and everything. It's my Lealena. And um, nail polish is an Illamasqua, and I cannot remember the name of it, but I'll put it down with all the rest of my makeup. And I did my makeup pretty minimal today. Um, so you'll have to let me know what you think. And I was thinking of doing maybe one of these tutorials soon of just minimal makeup and more of a casual look. And actually this lipstick is another one of those Chanel Coco Shines off of that card. I believe it's called Saga. 
So if you get by a Chanel counter, see if they have any of those cards left because I'm so impressed with this new batch of colors. I think that they might have put a little bit more pigment in them. It just seems like to me this has more pigment. And um, somebody asked me yesterday, did I prefer the Coco Shines or the Dior Addict? Well, they're totally different. And then there's the YSL balms, like candy gloss balms or whatever. They're all three so different, but yet the same concept. I would have to say the one that feels the best on your lips is the Dior Addict. Those just have that balmy feeling, almost like the Revlon lip butters, but better. They're not as gushy and um, messy feeling as the lip butters. They stay on your lips better, but they have that thick kind of balmy feeling, almost like um, chapstick or something. These are more like putting on um, Aquaphor or something like that. And then the YSL are even thinner feeling. Those feel like you just put on uh, Vaseline or something like that. <laughs> Is that good? Good comparisons there. So I hope you guys have a good Wednesday, um, last week of school, so I'm excited. And um, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see you soon. I watched Bye -bye. the video back real quick and I do think that the shirt looks better tucked in. I looked at it and it just looked too sloppy and um, baggy right here. So this is the outfit with the shirt tucked in and I think it's still loose enough not to worry about. And um, because the pants are so baggy and everything, it's not, you know, too bad. But so I just wanted to show you this and I'll show you the whole, the whole outfit. And um, I know it's not going to be for everyone, but I like it. And it just is something that's casual. When I get home, it's comfortable and it's just something different. So um, tell me which one you like. Do you like the shirt tucked in or left out? I'm just curious. So have a good day.